Hello, I'm Linda Puglisi, Supervisor of the Town of Cortland, and today I'm really excited to tell all of you that we are restarting our town TV program called Taking Care of Business. This is an opportunity for the town board members and myself to go visit our local businesses. Our, they call them uh, moms and pops, and uh, many of them have been here for years and years, like the Coles Market and the Hamlet of Montrose, over 100 years. And uh, Councilman Richard Becker is our host of this program, Taking Care of Business. And the other town board members, uh, Frank Farrell, um, Debbie Costello, and Jim Creighton and I, we take turns joining Richard at the various locations. We did this several years ago, and we are now resurrecting it. We're really excited about it. We have over 200 wonderful smaller shops and stores and restaurants in our community, professional offices. And we want everybody to shop local, do business local, and dine local. Uh, we have a, a wonderful variety of shops and uh, businesses in our community. So please, especially at this holiday season, make sure that you go and visit these wonderful establishments in our community. It not only helps our local economy, it also helps, but it helps other uh, surrounding areas with sales tax, etc. And it also provides jobs for our community. So it's really exciting. The number of stores, the variety, as I mentioned, we're really excited. And today, uh, December 14th, 2018, is our kickoff uh, for taking care of business. And that will be at the Toddville Plaza. There's a lot of small little stores there. Uh, I went to a ribbon cutting recently at the State Farm Insurance. There's a lovely deli there some other smaller shops. And so Richard Becker will be joined by Councilman Frank Farrell today. We're really, really excited about it. So make sure that you watch these programs. Um, we're going to do one every single month. We'll go to, new to different establishments throughout our community, as I said. And we, we will air them on our public access station. And also, they will be streamed on our website. So please, um, as I said before, go to these local businesses. We're so proud of them, uh, the men and women who have been running them for years, or new ones that have started up. So we'll be seeing you out at our local businesses throughout the town of Cortland. And I want to add one more thing. Uh, also in our villages, the village of Croton-on-Hudson and the village of Buchanan have many wonderful businesses. And the town board members and I will be going to them as well. Thank you so very much, and have a great holiday season. Welcome, everyone, to Taking Care of Business, a periodic television show shown on uh, the Town of Cortland channel, where we showcase local businesses. Uh, this is actually a reprise of a previous show that we did several years ago. So this is Taking Care of Business, The Next Generation. Uh, I'm Councilman Rich Becker and I'm joined by my co-councilman Francis X. Farrell. Hello there. You can call me Frank, Rich. I can call you Frank? <laughs> okay, we'll be informal today. <laughs> um, anyway, we're uh, outside what's known around the community is the Toddville Plaza, but uh, more mm -hmm. officially called Crompon Plaza, located on Route 202, just west of the Bear Mountain Parkway right. and uh, east of the hospital. And we'll be visiting two businesses today, Fresh to Go, which is a deli uh, right here, as well as the Farmers Insurance Company. So let's go inside and meet these storekeepers and introduce them to you in the community. Looking forward to it. We're inside Fresh to Go with Gabriel, the owner, and as well as Tommy, and uh, of course uh, Frank. And uh, I was just told that you guys won an award for Best Deli in Cortland from the town? That is correct, yes. So the city of Cortland awarded us uh, Best Local Deli for 2018. Well, congratulations. How long have you been here? 
two years already. Two years. Yeah. And uh, uh, it seems like it's growing. It seems busy. Yeah, we are very busy. And what makes your deli unique and different than uh, some of the other delis in the area? Well, I think when you're going across from deli to deli, the one thing that really sets us apart is we are on a Mexican-American deli. You know, a, a lot, a majority of our menu is uh, Mexican-based, whether it be with the enchiladas and burritos. Of course, obviously, we have the traditional uh, Italian pastas that we do for catering, our chickens, but uh, and our sandwiches, of course. But um, I think uh, Gabriel brings a lot of passion to what he does, and he's able to express it in being in a, a Mexican-American deli. Okay, what makes it uh, Mexican as opposed to typical American or Italian deli? Well, the thing is we try to be authentic Mexican food. We create all the dishes from scratch. And uh, so, and tell us a little bit about the quality of the meats. So all of our meats are prime grade A meats, everything that we use over here for our steam table. Our deli meats are all boar's head. Um, so it's, uh, it's, it's a real advantage for us to offer that type of product in this area, only that type of product. We don't have any other competing brand in here but Borset. So it's really important for us to, to offer the best quality of, of cold cuts and cheeses that we can to our customers. Oh, that's very good. Nice. And you said that the, the rest of the food you make f from scratch, you said? Yes. Yeah. We try to bring, like, uh, from home to the, now all the neighbors, like, different kind of food. Uh, we try to express about how Mexican we grow, all the different cuisine, and um, we also, you can get quesadilla, but you can want to get Italian soap, you can get Italian soap as well. It's not like a regular deli, it's many delis de around here, but we try to be a different than all the delis. So a lot more than just a plain turkey sandwich. Exactly, yes, okay. a lot more. Okay. What's the, what do you find is one of the popular dishes that you guys make? Uh, empanadas and burritos and uh, we got quesadillas that's the best um, quesadillas is the best dish we sell here we also we got chicharron with a uh, pork belly it's authentic the pernil everybody love about the pernil and I think we um, the best pernil in town oh, very nice. good. I'm sure you are and I just want to point out that this is made in Mexico. Made in Mexico, yes. yes. Made in Mexico. So that's it. Uh, you said you have a steam table. Can you show us some of that? Sure, of course. course. So we are at the steam table, and I've got to say you've got a terrific um, variety of foods here. Can you please take us through what you've got? Oh, well, this is um, grilled teriyaki salmon. It's one of the best dishes where we sell it here. It's delicious. We got lemon roasted chicken. And this is the pernil with everybody love. Uh, there's some um, authentic pernil. Now, what is that? A pulled pork? A uh, roasted pork. Okay. Yeah. Roasted pork. We leave it 24 hours cooking. It's slow cooking. Nice. And this is the, the short ribs. Also, that's everybody love it. That's a, a grilled beef now, short ribs. Now how would you serve that? Over rice what? or something? Rice, uh -huh. beans, nice. rice, beans. And where we got guacamole, which is making right now. Uh, we, guacamole is authentic guacamole. Uh, we make everything fresh. It's authentic. And then what is in front there? Is that chicken, some kind yeah, of Yeah, that's a chicken? chipotle chicken. Chipotle pulled chicken. And how, how is that prepared? Well, well, we, we steam it for like a half an hour. We pull it. We make a roasted uh, chipotle, tomatoes, onions, and a little bit of smoking flavor. Oh, nice. Very nice. Carne asada plate is right there. And so and you're preparing lunches, and you do deliveries? Yeah, we do delivery also. We do catering. We do a lot of deliveries, healthy. We do quinoa, uh, gluten-free pasta salad, gluten-free macaroni and cheese. Oh, nice. That's very uh, popular these days, the gluten-free yeah. product. We gluten-free products, exactly. We eat, uh, the tacos also is gluten-free. It's and made by tortilla corn. And that's not something you see at every deli, tacos exactly. and empanadas. Exactly. And this is the churros. The nope. churros over here is made fresh daily and everybody love it and you're located on route 202 almost at the intersection with the bear mountain bear mountain uh, parkway so near the bowling alley so you deliver within a few mile radius of here yeah like two or three miles excellent why don't you tell us a little bit about your uh, salad display here so we have our grab and go cooler our open air cooler over here and a lot of times, you know, whether it be uh, professionals or teachers coming in during lunch, they don't have necessarily a lot of time to wait for uh, an order to be made, something from the kitchen. So it's really convenient for them to come in, 
and just grab a grab and go. You know, they have a great lunch, great Never snacks, things for after school, going home. We have uh, antipasto set up over here, whether it be mozzarella balls or tomato and onion and cucumber salad, chickpeas. We have uh, gluten-free quinoa is there as well, macaroni and pasta salads. So it provides people with a great opportunity to come in really quick, grab it and go and not have to spend a lot of time uh, waiting on an order. And I can see from above that you have a screen that shows uh, some samples of uh, what you have pre-prepared. Correct. So in addition to what we have prepared as well, we have a list of about 17 other salads that we make in-house, all to order as well. Um, uh, a lot of real excellent uh, healthy options. Majority of our dressings are all made in-house as well. Um, so it really, it, it really works out well for the people in terms of wanting a light, healthy snack or having to something where you go to the steam table here where it's more of a full meal, full dinner. Yeah, and I'm looking at all the different TV screens because uh, there are so many different choices uh, around here. It's actually uh, almost overwhelming, but it's choice is a good thing. There are. I mean, you'd be surprised, you know, after customers come here the first couple of times, they're able to come in and, hey, you know, I love the mufalette panini. They know it by name already. They're coming in. They're asking for it. You know what? The, Personally, I'm looking at the Bella Panini. The Bella's, the, the Bella's great. The Reuben is actually my favorite. I love the Reuben here. The corned beef is excellent. Uh, the pastrami is great here as well, whether you want to do a pastrami or corned beef Reuben. But, uh, you know, we, we really cover the board from, from, from A to Z in terms of options for people. So it, it really benefits if us. If I well. want my favorite ham and Swiss, no Absolutely, problem. Absolutely, no problem. You know, nice. Excellent board set ham and Swiss cheese. But if you want to have your gluten-free taco, you can. If you want to have your burrito, you can. If you want to have a penne vodka for lunch or a chicken parm wedge or a meatball parm wedge, you can as well. You know, sometimes I find myself not knowing what I want for lunch. Really yeah. can't think of something, but here you have so many choices, so many different varieties. Right, you'd be surprised. I mean, you'd think when people come in, they'd be looking around like, you know, oh my God, what do I get? But we have so much out in front of them yeah. that it's really quick. People yeah. really come here, they know what they want, they go for it. And uh, it's, uh, you know, it makes us happy. You know, we're, we're really able to please every customer that walks in. I can see that. Yeah. And uh, now the big thing is after I eat one of your beautiful sandwiches or salads, I'm up for dessert. Of course. You so always have to end on a high note. We have an excellent homemade flan. A homemade flan. Homemade flan, it is fantastic. Okay. So I'm usually not a flan person, but the way Gabriel and Fatima do it, it is fantastic. Gabriel, you make it yourself, the yes. flan? Oh. Yeah, the flan is making here. We make it. Um, this is from my grandmother's recipe, and uh, we try to make it the best we can. What no. part of Mexico is she from? Tlaxcala. Tlaxcala. Yeah. And what if we had the desserts to go, cookies to bring oh, back yeah. to the office? I can show you a little bit more than right, the sure cookies we, we got. So, Tommy, why don't you tell us about some of the desserts to go options? So, we have excellent cookies across the board over here, whether it be the lemon drop with the icing over there. We fill our cannolis to order fresh fresh cannoli cream with chocolate chips in them and then you have your powdered sugar cookies with the deli we have our homemade muffins right over there as you can see we have a oh, chocolate, wow. chocolate chip a banana nut um, a corn and then the pistachios the green at the far end over there as well um, croissants and donuts um, and you can see right in front over here is that we do small cookie platters we do larger cookie platters for catering events as well so we really for some reason that escapes me i'm starting to get a little hungry <laughs> you know i've never had a pistachio muffin before it's great yeah huh? oh yeah it's very good wonderful very good you're gonna have to try it yeah we definitely will so, um you know one of the questions that i, I think people are going to ask especially this time of year is catering do you guys cater of course absolutely i mean this time of year we are the, the, it's a huge part of our business uh, catering and uh, we spend a lot of time and effort in coming up with a great catering menu really price effective for our customers uh, really fair pricing and you know we, we do dozens and dozens and dozens of trays a day especially this time of year going through the New Year's. Oh excellent. Yeah. So we'll ask our producer uh, Mr. Mike Miner to put on the screen your contact information sure. so they'll, they'll have Absolutely. know how to reach you of course. Uh, I guess either by uh, phone traditionally or do you email uh, Phone traditionally, but you could email as well, certainly. Okay, okay. so we'll make sure that everyone knows yep. how to reach you. And Absolutely. do people fax over orders, lunch orders? Yeah, we receive a fax order okay. lunch every day. We do a lot of business with the hospital and the, all the doctors around here. We do catering. We, so, uh, we so bring some lunches every day. We got, The people love the salads. We got like 25 different kinds of uh, gourmet salads, different right. than anybody else. Beside the lettuce, tomato, and cucumber, we got caramelized pear salad with gorgonzola, raisins, and uh, walnuts, homemade dressings. Oh, wow. 
That is probably one of our best salads. As a matter of, just before you guys came here, right around lunchtime, we did a, a catering event for a group of doctors for 65 people, and uh, we put together a really nice spread. It was great. We do our wedges. You can see our round wedges right over there, three-foot rounds. We do long, six-foot longs as well. And you can make those sandwiches however you like. You can do the traditional American combo, Italian combo, or customize the wedge to whatever you want it. Nice. Yep. Well, I want to thank you for allowing us to come in and visit with you guys today. Our this pleasure. is Fresh to Go on 202. Uh, the uh, old uh, Plaza here, Toddville. Toddville Plaza. And uh, we'll post your contact information. And uh, again, you guys are modest, so you won't say it. But uh, while we were here, Frank and I heard a customer congratulating you on your award for the best deli in Cortland. Thank so you. that's uh, quite an accomplishment yes, for indeed. a business that's in uh, here for just two years. So thanks so much. And uh, Thank you pleasure Thank visiting you. with yes. you. Thank you, Gabriel. And you Frank's going to take you, two doves and muffins to go. So. <laughs> Happy holidays. Thank you, guys. Well, we've moved a few uh, storefronts down, and we're currently in the Farmer's Insurance Store, which has opened up relatively recently, still in the Toddville Plaza. And we're joined by Andy Gamboa, who is the uh, owner here of the, uh, this branch. Uh, welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. And that's Andy A-N-D-I, right? Yes, Andy A-N-D-I. Okay. <laughs> so why don't you tell us a little bit about Farmers? Well, Farmers, uh, Farmers Insurance Company, we offer home, auto, life, uh, and everything else. You know, if you're a boater, if you like, uh, you know, maybe ski dudes, uh, you know, whatever it is that's recreational, Boy, toys. RVs, you know, stuff like that, mm -hmm. we do that as, uh, as well, too. So, but I imagine the biggest is home and auto. Yes, home, auto, life. Mm -hmm. And life. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's mm -hmm. good. And I... I did some research. It's a subsidiary of Zurich. Is that true? Correct. That is the uh, parent company. That's the parent company. Mm -hmm. And uh, how long have you been here? Uh, I've been here since May. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's uh, relatively new. Relatively new. Correct. Correct. Okay. Have you uh, mastered the farmer's uh, jingle yet? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you ready? Yes. We, we are, are farmers. I'm very impressed. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so um, tell us, you know, someone's young, and, and, uh, and Frank was mentioning this to me earlier, that, uh, you know, sometimes people may not know that they even need insurance. Sure, especially a young couple starting out, or a young guy particularly. Maybe he doesn't own a home. Why do these people need insurance? Oh, well, it's something that's very important. You know, uh, accidents happen all the time. Mistakes happen all the time. You know, these are things that you don't account for, you know, and so all it takes is one lawsuit, and that one lawsuit could really cripple you. Mm. You know, a lot of times people think, oh, well, I don't have nothing, so if somebody sues me, they get nothing from me. But uh, the reality is they could come after your wages later on, they could come after your 401K, they could come after your, you know, potential earnings later on in life. So maybe right now it's not important, but if something happens, say tomorrow, you're being sued, Later on, it will be important. That's so. an important consideration. And I think most people think of insurance as something that pays in the event of uh, an accident or something happening. But your insurance company is also on your side, and they'll help you defend against maybe a claim that's not justified. Absolutely. And that's the, uh, that's the biggest thing. That's really what it is. It's, uh, so you do liability type of insurance? Correct, correct. And that's, that's the main thing. You know, a lot of times when you're being sued, your biggest expenses are your lawyer fees. Sure. A lot of people don't know. You get liability insurance, that's basically going to cover your lawyer fees, it's going to cover any losses, anything that you're being sued for and you're found guilty of, that's what that's being covered. Yeah, you know, and I think some people, I had to remember one uh, young couple and they th thought they didn't need homeowner's insurance because they didn't have a mortgage. Oh. And I was saying how this is it's so important to protect you if that house burns down or if you get sued, yeah. that you need to be protected. So or if a, a visitor gets hurt or a delivery Absolutely. person says they fell or whatever uh, might happen. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's really to make you whole again. Mm -hmm. You know, so if uh, you had a wonderful house, you had a nice car, and now there's a loss there, whatever the loss may be, let's say fire, let's say a potential accident, let's say a lawsuit, these are the things that insurance is placed uh, there for, to protect you against anything that you had and you would like it to be repaired or you would like mm. it to, you know, just make you whole again, make you what you used to be at a certain point in time before the accident or mistake. What about um, life insurance to protect yourself, your family, should something happen? Do you sell that? Absolutely. Those are, that's one of the biggest things that uh, I think everyone should have. You know, it's so important. You know, we, we're so quick to... Uh, insure our cars, we're so quick to insure our houses, 
Well, you know, without you, without the person, without the life, you wouldn't have any of that. You know, sure. you, you're the biggest, uh, you know, money maker in your household. Even if you're not the biggest money maker, you, you, you need to leave something behind to either protect, you know, let's say a, a mortgage so you don't leave that debt behind to your kids. Or, you know, just for you to leave some income for maybe your spouse. You okay, know, what maybe. if you were the biggest, you know, money earner and now uh, you're no longer there? How is your wife going to take care of the children? How is she going to take care of herself? You could protect your children's chance at having an education. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's I huge. think you're purchasing peace of mind. That's exactly what it this. is. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. What about disability? Does farmers offer disability? Disability insurance we don't do. Um, that's going to be a little tied more with uh, health. Um, so that's one of the insurances that we don't do. Mm -hmm. um, we do, like I said, home, auto, life. And commercial is one thing we left out that's huge as well, too. Uh, you know, to protect the business, we do provide that. Oh, well. that's, you know, business insurance is so important. Mm -hmm. you know, people have large investments in their business. And, uh, you know, if you get sick or, you know, injured, you know, the life insurance may protect your estate, but the business itself needs to be protected Ab against absolutely. Good point. and theft and Good liability. Point. Absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, you know, this is, I mean, it's, it's so beyond that, you know, there's so many things. You know, let's say, uh, you know, you have a neighbor and your neighbor is a huge company. Let's say it's, uh, I don't know, Walmart. And... Uh, you know, or Walgreens or something, and Walgreens decides to leave, or Walmart decides to leave. All this traffic that you used to get from all the clients that used to go to Walmart, now that Walmart is no longer there, well, you need to make that up. Insurance could actually protect that for you. Wow, that's, that's incredible. interesting. I yeah, never yeah. even thought of that. Yeah. So that kind of a real comprehensive business plan. Absolutely. You know, and, and I think that anecdote kind of illustrates a thought that I had where insurance can seem baffling to a lot of people. and. Maybe you don't know what you need or what would be useful. How could they find that out? By talking to me <laughs> 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 or any one of our uh, insurance professionals. Uh, we have uh, Jacob, who just came on recently. Uh, mm -hmm. We have Van Elliott as well, too. Um, so, you know, we're all licensed staff here. Um, I speak Spanish myself. And, uh, you know, those are the things that we, we do here. We will talk to you. We'll figure out what are your needs. If there's something that you don't know and you're unaware mm -hmm. of, we'll ask you those questions in order to bring those things to light to see where is it that, you know, we could measure what we can protect for you. Yeah, that's nice. good that you speak Spanish because uh, a lot of people are know a little English, but they would need help with the complexity of uh, insurance and sure. to be able to converse in Spanish, I think, is, is tremendous. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes. It's a, a blessing. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, how would you get into this business? Well, originally I uh, sold cars for 10 years uh, with uh, Enterprise. And um, in doing that, you know, a lot of times you're helping out clients, you're, you're selling them a car, and maybe there's a language barrier. And, uh, of course, one of the big parts of buying a car is you need insurance because it's, you know, mandated by state law. So a lot of times you're talking to an insurance professional and you're trying to sell a car, and the customer doesn't know what's the importance of it, or maybe they just can't speak the language. So I would mm -hmm. find myself a lot of times being a translator, you know, talking, and I uh, realize, you know what? It may really be uh, some potential here, and uh, you know I got the opportunity, and I jumped right on it. Good for you! Terrific! Yeah. That's, that's great. And you know we're so excited here in Cortland um, to have new businesses come to town, and that's why we're here to support you. It's it's so important, and I think for people who live in the community to have an agent where they could just drive up and ask their question rather than trying to, you know, speak to some unknown person in another country. You you're know? right. You're right. And thank you for welcoming me. I think that that's Oh, uh, it's that's our pleasure. You know what I'm great. noticing? You have an interesting nautical theme here at the store. Can you tell us about that? <laughs> well, uh, you know, Farmers Requires for the uh, Honorable Blue that's uh, right behind us to be in every single one of their offices. And uh, my fiancé was the one who uh, came up with the idea. Hey, well, you have blue. Let's just make it a nautical theme. And so great. Yeah, all around the office. Happy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My biggest insurance plan, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, nonetheless, yeah, we have that nautical theme, and, you know, the goal was to make it welcoming and to make it so that, you know, the average person, any person, could just walk right on in. Um, you know, even the location uh, was strategically placed, uh, you know, to cater to everyone. So, mm -hmm. you know, being in Cortland Manor, I'm close to Peekskill, I'm close to Yorktown. And, of course, we can write anyone in New York. So, yes, we do, you know, welcome all the local businesses but it's and local uh, 
families as well too, anyone local, but it's, I can write anywhere in New York. Well, that's wonderful. Well, thank you for letting us visit with you today. We will put the information up on the screen uh, so they'll know how to uh, contact you. This is Mr. Andy Gamboa of Farmers Insurance, and uh, he's very warm and welcoming, and uh, I think I'm going to double my insurance today <laughs> just in case because he's, he's such a good salesman. Uh, what's the other expression you have to say? Uh, we, uh, he's seen a lot, so he knows a lot, uh, Exactly, exactly, okay, exactly, so, exactly. So this is the man to see in the town of Cortland. Uh, on uh, Route 202, Toddville Plaza, and uh, welcome, and uh, we wish you much success. Thank, thank you, you for Thank you so much. Thank okay. you so much. Thank, thank you. you. It's a pleasure. Okay. Absolutely. We want to thank everyone for joining us today for another episode of Taking Care of Business. We enjoyed meeting uh, the two stores here in the Toddville Plaza, Fresh to Go and the Farmers Insurance Company. They were very gracious hosts, and uh, it was our pleasure to introduce them to you and the community, and we wish them a lot of luck. It's a lot of fun to meet those guys. Uh, they're also passionate about what they're doing and starting their businesses and uh, wish them the greatest success. Yeah, that's true. I think uh, both stores, because they're new, they're enthusiastic, yeah. uh, and they're really uh, happy to be here in the town of Cortland. So uh, I think that's wonderful to have that enthusiasm and new blood coming to town. We wish them well. We wish them well. And we'll see you for the next episode of Taking Care of Business. Mm -hmm.